Hello everyone, it is Mr. Fernandez coming at you again, and here are your instructions for this week. Uh, so we are going to be reading chapter 10 and chapter 11 this week. Yes, two chapters, uh, which is more than what we've usually done. Uh, this is, I believe, our only week where we're going to be doing two full chapters now. Uh, so that's great. We won't have to stress too much about that. The assignments that you're going to have for this week, they're not super big because you have to read two full chapters. One of them, you will have to create a slideshow, and the other one, you'll have to take a paragraph that you've already written and then pull it apart and put it into a graphic organizer. Okay, so I'm going to show you what those two will look like right now. So this is what our Google Classroom looks like. So if you come from the very front page and you go into Classwork, you'll see our learning resources and then our learning at home uh, reading Harry Potter. Now, the chapter 10 and 11, it's in the gray color because it's scheduled to be put up next week. If it was in the blue, that means it'd already be up. So we're going to look at this. Now, in here, there will actually be a video where uh, I explain the instructions. Actually, the video that I'm creating right now will be right here. So hopefully you're already watching that. Uh, the first thing that you're going to do is open the rules and game of Quidditch. And so that's going to pop open. And so this will tell you what you're going to do. After you read chapters 10 and 11, you are going to create a slideshow that explains the rules of Quidditch and how one plays the game. That's your main task for this week. So how will you do that? Using the blank slideshow posted for you in Google Classroom, you will create slides that explain how to play the sport Quidditch. So if we go back into our work here, you'll see Quidditch, the Google Slides, and it is just a very empty uh, slideshow. And that's where you're going to do your work. So the information that I want you to include, I want you to tell me what the rules of the game are. I want you to tell me the different positions in the sport, explain what the different positions do, and then finally, what the Quidditch pitch or Quidditch field looks like. So just like there's a soccer field or a soccer pitch or a football field or a football pitch, there's a Quidditch pitch, Quidditch field. Okay. So that's the information that you need to include right there. Now, what are the requirements of your slideshow? Well, as I've said before, use as many slides as you feel are necessary. If you think only three are necessary, only use three. If you want 10, use 10. If you want 30, use 30. It's completely up to you. Maximum 150 characters per slide. Okay, So that includes your numbers or your letters, but it excludes spaces. Now, some of you have asked me before, how do you tell how many you have? So let's say we go to a new slide here, and we type in... Uh, there are three chasers who throw the quaffle through the goalposts. Okay. Now, you can't use a word count. There's no word count in Google Slides. So what you have to do is you have to copy it. Then you have to go back to a Google Doc and paste it. Then you highlight it, so click and hold, tools, word count, and so you can see there's words, 11, characters, 64, but characters excluding spaces, 54. So this is the one, this is the one you want to focus on. Okay, so 54. So you still have about 100 more characters left. Uh, you also need to use a theme beyond the basic white one. So if we go back here, let me just delete this one here. You can go to themes, and there's all these different options to choose. Okay, you can even probably Google and find your own themes and then import them. I don't want the boring white one. Give me something more interesting. Uh, at least one relevant picture for every two slides. So show me the pictures, show me what you're talking about. And then minimum size 24 font. So you go here, size 24, okay, minimum. Now for this, there is an extra thing you can do should you want to. Uh, you don't have to, but this is how you can extend your learning. I want you to include what you would say if you presented this slideshow. And so how do you do that? You can do it one of two different ways. So the first way is you can go to the uh, slideshow and down here where it says click to add speaker notes, you can type in uh, introducing Quidditch 
the fast game, let's say the fast wizard game played on broomsticks. Why do I have a capital B? Broomsticks. And then as you go through, you can add more and more. The other option is to do what's called a screen capture or a screen recording. And you can do that by Googling uh, different apps uh, in order to do that, or you can do a voice recording. Uh, but those are your options for doing your voiceover if you want to. That's extra, you don't have to. So that's for the first part. So the two chapters will go over Quidditch and they'll tell you uh, about the game, what the rules are. That's predominantly in chapter 10. And then chapter 11 is where they actually play a game. The next thing I want you to do is take the paragraph that you've already written, the one for sort yourself. So if you remember this one from chapter seven, okay, I want you to take the different parts and put it into this graphic organizer. And so it's just copy and paste. So for example, the example paragraph that I got here, if I place the sorting hat on my head, the hat would most likely place me in, sort me into Slytherin. So I'm gonna copy it and then paste. There you go. And I would probably go here and change the spacing so that it's not super large. Okay. Then I would go to my paragraph again. The point that I want to make, so the sorting hat would sort me into the Slytherin house because I am morally ambitious. So that's the point that I'm making. That's the first reason why I would be sorted into Slytherin. And we'll just paste it into there. And do the spacing, okay? And so that's all you're gonna do for the paragraph organizer. You've already written the paragraph from chapter seven. Now you're just gonna separate it out and organize it. Okay, and that's what you're gonna do this week. So hopefully that, uh, those instructions helped you to understand what we're gonna be doing this week. If you have questions, if you have concerns, if you have any comments, still let me know. Instagram me, uh, email me, however, Google Classroom message, whatever you choose, let me know so that I can help you through it. Uh, if you noticed, there is no rubric, okay? And that's because we're gonna be moving to a more feedback focused uh, way of learning as opposed to just giving marks. Um, I will probably still give you grades just because the Google Classroom, I don't believe lets me return them without assigning a grade. But I'm gonna be just giving you feedback to help push your learning so that you're ready for next year as opposed to, oh, go for the grade. Uh, because at this point, you're all gonna pass. So whoopee, we passed the course. Now let's develop those skills. That's what we're gonna focus on. So if you need anything, if you need help, let me know. Uh, and I miss you. I hope you're all doing well and I'll talk to you soon. Bye everyone.